Hi guys, so today we're gonna to be doing seventh grade lesson one, expressions and equations. So we're gonna start off by evaluating expressions. So for number one, b cubed minus 21 over five b plus nine when b equals three. So it says when b equals three, that means for wherever b is, we substitute three. So we see that there's a b here and a b here, kind of hard to see. So we plug that in. So three cubed minus 21 over five parentheses, three plus nine. So three cubed, that's just the same as saying three times three times three. Now three times three times three is just nine times three. And nine times three is 27. So it'd be 27 minus 21. Now, 5 times 3 plus 9. The parentheses just means you multiply them together. So it'd be 15 plus 9. So now we have to add and subtract all of them. So 27 minus 21. That's 6 over 15 plus 9, which is 24. But can we simplify this further? Yes, we can. So we would have to divide both the numerator and denominator by the same number. In this case, it would be six. It should be one over four. And that'd be our answer. So number two, y minus one squared when y equals five over six. So we plug this in again, because y minus one half. Now we can't just subtract it straight on because the denominators need to be equal. So we need to change this one half to make the denominator six. So we would multiply this by three. So the denominator is six, which would be three over six. So now it's five over six minus three over six, which is two over six, but again, we can simplify this further by dividing both numerator and denominator by two. So it's one over three, that's our answer. Number three, one half K when K equals two thirds. Okay, so since there's no um, like addition or subtraction sign and they're just right next to each other, it's this we just multiply it and in multiplication you can just multiply it straight on without having to change the denominators but to make it easy for us we can simplify the two and two to one and one because they're the same number so that'd be one over three that'd be our answer for number four 24 over f when f equals eight so again we plug in eight for f which is right here and 24 over eight that's the same as saying 24 divided by eight that's three so our answer would be three okay so for number five h plus one over three when h equals one and one-thirds okay so we plug in one over one-thirds plus one-thirds so one and one thirds is the same as saying three over three plus one over three. Because three over three is just one. So now when we add this, we have four over three. So to simplify it, it would be four over three plus one over three, which equals five over three. And we can't simplify this one. So our answer would just be five over three. For number six, k squared minus one over k plus three. Oh, when k equals five. So we would plug in five every time we see a k, which is these two places. Five squared, that's just five times five, which is 25. And plugging that back in would be 25 minus one over five plus three, which is eight. 
25 minus 1 is 24. 24 over 8. We divide both sides by the same thing and simplify it. We get 3 over 1. And we can ignore this 3 because anything over 1 is just the answer. So our answer is 3. B over C when B equals 24 and C equals 2.5. Now, this one is different because it has a decimal. So it'd be 24 over 2.5. 24 over 2.5 is the same as saying 24 divided by 2.5. Now, 2.5 is really just... 2.5 is really just... Two and one halves. So two is four over two plus we have to add this one over two, which would be five over two. Now, when we divide by a fraction, we have to flip the reciprocal and change this so we get 24 times. Flip to 5 and 2, so it's 2 over 5. So our answer would be 48 over 5. Okay, so x squared when x equals 3 over 4. So 3 over 4 squared. We have to distribute this 2 squared, this squared, among the 3 and the 4. So it would be 3 times 3, which equals 9, over 4 times 4, which would equal 16, which would be our final answer. Okay, next, we have evaluate the expressions using order of operations. Now, the order of operations... Um, we can remember it by using the expression PEMDAS. So P equals parentheses, E equals exponents, M equals multiplication, D is division, and A and S is addition, subtraction. Now, this tell, tells us the order of what to calculate. So, for example, you would want to divide before you add or subtract because D comes for A and S. Okay, so I'm writing this again. For number one, we have 48 divided by 4 squared plus 3 over 5. So we see that there's the exponents, there's one right here. There's no parentheses, so we that's what we have to do first. So 4 squared is 4 times 4, which is 16. And now that would be 48 divided by 16 plus 3 over 5. Now, like I said earlier, division comes before addition. So it would be 48 divided by 16, which is 3, plus 3 over 5th. So that would be 3, 3, and 5th. Okay, that's the answer. Now let's do number 3. 3 over 4 bracket 13 minus parentheses 2 plus 3 bracket squared. Okay, so this bracket, it's the same thing as parentheses, except the parentheses would come first. So we have parentheses. So we do 3 over 4 bracket 13 minus 2 plus 3, which is 5. So 5 minus 5 bracket squared. So 3 over 4. Then we do this, which is 8 squared. So 3 over 4 times 8 squared. 8 squared is just 8 times 8. So that would be 3 fourth times 64 over 1. But can we simplify this further? Yeah, we can. So dividing the 64 by 4 itself, you would get that 
and then times so it would be three times sixteen. And then when we multiply that, we get forty-eight. So that's our answer. Okay. Now let's do word problems, expressions, and equations. Emma earns dollar K per hour. She works eight hours every day. The expression twenty-two parentheses AK shows her monthly salary. Which expression also shows her monthly salary? Okay, so we see here that they give the expression to us, which is this. Now this expression can be simplified further by just doing 22 times 8K. Now we have to do some multiplication and multiply these two. Eight times two is 16. 8 times 2 is 16 again, plus the 1, which is 176. And you can't forget about the K here. That's our answer. So it would be C. Okay, Jackson's pants were K feet long. He cut 25% from the bottom of his pants, and now they fit perfectly. The expression K minus 25% K re represents the new length of Jackson's pants. Which expression also represents the new length of pants? So using this expression, k minus 25% k, um, we can substitute zero, like it says 25%, right? And 25% is the same thing as 25 over 100. And 25 over 100 is just 0 0.25. So we have k minus 0 0.25 k now this k there's nothing like here so it'd just be a one right here so when you subtract this it'd be 0 0.75 k which is a and uh, that'll be all for today's worksheet thank you